Hey YouTube, thank you for watching Colourpop Crochet and this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to do the hand dyeing process of these crocheted leaves and this is the specific one we're working on. This is the aspen leaf that I did a tutorial on in my last uh, video. So we'll move these out of the way. All you'll need is um, some paper towels, you'll need a, a paintbrush, some warm water, and I've actually got this warm water and I've already got some yellow dye in it um, because I am going to actually, first thing I'm going to do is stick this in here. <laughs> Let me move this forward a little bit and I'm just going to soak that just for a couple of minutes um, just to kind of get that yellow as a base color. So make sure it's all the way in there. And then I have, I'm just going to use two colors for this one. I have my yellow um, fabric dye and I have mixed some red and yellow fabric dye to make an orange, a bright orange, almost a red, but it's still an orange. Um, you can use any color you want. Um, there's all, all kinds of different fabric dyes. There's um, the tulip ones. There's this one's the black, but we're not using a black one. This one's Dylon um, permanent fabric dye. I'm actually kind of just trying out some different dyes. This is actually my first uh, project of hand dyeing and everything. So, and then I've got these little kits. This one comes with three, and these are the primary colors. Um, and these are just tie-dye kits, tumble dye, for like tie-dye shirts and stuff. Um, but it's definitely it's definitely working with these, um, the 100% cotton we used for these leaves. So that's basically all you need. And after this sets for just a couple of minutes, um, you just want it to be soaked, and you want it, um, you want the yellow. You see that yellow to be uh, your base color so I'm just gonna get some of this extra out of here but I want my leaf to be pretty wet still that's gonna um, make the color spread out evenly instead of you having hard lines with your uh, dyes and then while it's wet you can go ahead and block it just kind of stretch out your points uh, make it make sure it's all flat you don't have to use pins or anything since it's wet all right so you can use really any color you want um, but you kind of want to start with the lighter colors and then move on to the darker colors so i'm just going to pick up my yellow right here and i'm just using a paintbrush you can use any size you want it's not really going to make a big deal. I'm just going to start up here in this point right here. And as you can see, it kind of spreads out a little bit better when the uh, leaf is wet. Just going to slowly start getting my yellow on here. And if you um, need your colors to be darker and you already have it dyed, you just wait until it's dry and then you go in and you do a second coat on it and that's going to make it darker. And there's so many color combinations and possibilities with the hand dyeing that you can just create anything, even if it's not crocheted leaves you're doing you can dye any kind of crocheted project so it's actually going to be really helpful in some of my upcoming um, videos that I've got planned out I'm just going to put a little bit on this side right here and then the other side this is all going to be orange See how fast that is? 
And then I'm going to switch over to my bright orange that's almost red. It actually looks red, but it's going to dry a little bit orange. <laughs> and then you can kind of mix it in there, kind of blend it. And if you want, you don't, you don't have to use something so bright like this. You can um, definitely tone it down a bit. But I just love my leaves to be very vibrant in colors. And I'm just going to kind of do the edges a little bit and work it in there. There's really no science to this. Just kind of put the colors where you want, basically. Um, and it's actually very, very easy. It's kind of intimidating when you first do your first dyed project, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's really not that bad. And it's actually really fun. See, that's already, sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> it's already looking absolutely beautiful with those vibrant fall colors. And then I'm just going to kind of blend the edges in. Since it's wet, it's actually easier to blend it in. Um, kind of give you that ombre effect because you don't want any kind of hard lines. It would wouldn't look as best as it can if you do it with when it's completely wet. And you want to make sure you get your edges right here. The back doesn't matter uh, unless you're doing a project where you're going to be seeing both the front and the back. So the back's just going to kind of stay that little bit of yellow. But you want to get your edges because you definitely can see those. All right, let me blend that in just a little bit more. Make sure you get any white spots in these little chain spaces right there. And that is it. That was actually pretty quick. Compared to my first one. <laughs> but at least I kind of know what I'm doing. And also, um, the lady who does these um, crocheted leaf patterns, um, she also has the uh, written tutorial with pictures on how to do the hand dyeing process as well. So um, that might help if you are more, le if you learn easier by reading something than you do by um, video. So there's that, and I'm just going to let that dry, and it's good to go. I hope you enjoyed this. Please, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I'm going to actually put her uh, link, her Etsy shop link, in the description box below to get the patterns for these beautiful crocheted leaves. And there's one more here I'll show you. I'm not done dyeing it yet, but this is one of... Uh, it's called the vine leaf. That's also part of the uh, package of all the leaves that you get. It's really quite big and it's beautiful, but I'm, I'm just not di uh, done with it yet. So that's how you do that. Um, if you have not subscribed to me, please do so. Um, and that'll and if you hit that little notification bell beside the subscribe button, that'll let you know when I have new videos coming up. All right, y'all have a good one. Bye.